Hello, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hello. Gosh, I don't know how to work this freaking thing. It happens every time. What the fuck? After the release of the Apple Watch in 2014, many were predicting a doomsday scenario for the Swiss watch industry. Yet despite the Apple Watch indeed making an impact, as from a unit basis, it does outsell the Swiss mechanical watch industry, though the industry has still relatively sustained itself, regardless of the quickly encroaching world of wearable technology. The strange thing about the existence of the Apple Watch though is that most Swiss brands didn't and don't even acknowledge its existence. But one brand that you can always count on as being game to fire back is Swiss independent brand H. Moser & C. Though the name goes back to 1832, the brand has surged in popularity under their new ownership by the Milan family, being known for their vertical manufacturing, including the production of specialty parts and smaller components such as hairsprings. This along with their avant-garde styling and ability to not take themselves too seriously despite their very serious watches has made them a watchmaking darling with a lovable edge. And perhaps one of the best examples of embodying this identity is known as the Moser Swiss Alp, a timepiece that was initially unveiled the following year after the release of the Apple Watch, serving as both a response to the tech giant and being an emphatic statement on its own. Now this specific version of the Swiss Alp that we have here on display is known as the Swiss Alp Watch Final Upgrade, being defined by its loading screen at the six o'clock position, with this example being the personal watch owned by all pro NFL offensive lineman and Super Bowl champion, Mitchell Schwartz. So let's first talk about this watch as a general concept and the design. So there is no other way to put it other than saying that this is going to strongly resemble the Apple Watch in structure and in design. However, the Swiss Alp never fully deviates from the original plot and does feel still like a proper watch on the wrist. The case comes in with dimensions of 38 millimeters wide by 44 millimeters tall, with the height extending out to 50.7 millimeters when including the wire style lugs, holding into place the 22 millimeter strap and corresponding pin buckle to match the case. The watch is by no means small, wearing like a 43 millimeter circular case equivalent by my estimations. With the help of the stainless steel DLC case, the watch looks very close to the shade of charcoal as the space gray case from that of the brand it playfully mocks. The sides are rounded off and are mere polished along their entirety with a six millimeter crown taking the position at three, operating with normal function, offering an easy ability to hand wind the movement at the first position and setting the time while stopping the balance in the process when pulling to its second and farthest position. The crystal on this watch is substantial, sloping at its edge to seamlessly meet the cushion curvature of the underlying case and provides a clear view of the dial underneath. So there are three aspects of this dial worth addressing. Starting with the backdrop of black, that is the watch making equivalent here of a black hole. And that description is only slightly hyperbolic as this dial is specifically known as Vantablack, a material that is made up of carbon nanotubes that absorb 99.965% of visible light. It's an effect that's so dark, the human eye is unable to discern its form. And Moser has become a champion of the material and even showcased a concept watch with a full case in Vantablack this past year at Watches and Wonders, which was one of the memorable sites attending the event. This dial here acts as an impressively dark backdrop even being able to contrast reasonably from the already dark charcoal silver colored leaf hands at the center. Yet what allows this version of the Swiss Alp watch to separate from the previous iterations is the realistic loading screen we are accustomed to seeing during those frustrating moments when our tech doesn't process swiftly enough. In this instance, it obviously serves as the running sub seconds, featuring 12 small circular stick apertures offering view of the white disc affixed to the corresponding wheel of the movement to rotate freely. Despite its desire to emulate the look of a loading screen, it actually serves a function, rotating fully once every 60 seconds in order to track the time, offering a graduated level of intensity to imitate that of a processing LED screen. Yet in those cases where maybe you have this strap to the wrist and those around you are still not able to discern exactly what is going on here, 
that will all quickly stop as soon as you flip this one around, showcasing the manufacturer caliber movement, the HMC 324. Now, as mentioned earlier, Moser has an esteemed reputation for movement manufacturing all the way down to the specialized components, which are put to good use here. Now this manual wound movement fits reasonably snug within the unconventional shape case, showcasing a high level of finish throughout and offers little secrets. The ratchet, crown wheel, click, and click spring are easily detected and are in high polish. The bridges offer a Cote de Genève finish with mirroring anglage on their edges, including the slim balance bridge accompanied with the free sprung balance architecture with their overcoil hairspring, all working in tandem to allow this caliber to operate at 2.5 Hertz or 18,000 vibrations per hour. Apart from its looks, it also is no slouch in the performance department as well, featuring a Sunray finish power reserve indicator, illustrating the 96 hour power reserve, a period of time that would require any Apple Watch to be looking for an electrical outlet ASAP. As the gold engraving within the bridges indicate, this movement is tested at six different positions, yet we didn't fully take their word for it and we did still test it as well at those positions. And it ran between minus four to zero seconds a day at those positions. So solid performance here and true to their word. So now some closing thoughts on this Swiss Alp watch from Moser. So this is a watch that when you first see it and you first hear about it, you're like, okay, that's pretty cool. Or you might not like it. You might find that it's a bit too out there and bold for your liking. And I would get that as well. But for myself, why I appreciate Moser is they're not a stuffy brand. They're not, they're bold and brazen in terms of what they go for but they also are able to not take themselves too seriously in the process. And I think that's a cool combination for uh, an industry where that is very rarely two ideas that coexist with one another. The use of Vantablack is incredibly cool as well. The only thing I would say there is having points of contrast seem to always be a better way of displaying this type of level of darkness. If this had more white on the dial to contrast with, I think it would just allow it to pop. When seeing that concept of the fully cased up Vanta Black uh, that Moser unveiled at Watches and Wonders this year, or just were kind of teasing out, that I think shows how effective this material can be when used properly of showing a point of contrast. You almost need the same way when you're trying different foods, a palate cleanser for your eyes to identify what you're actually looking at here and how dark it really is. But I think at the end of the day, the big question for this watch is, is it cool? Yes, absolutely. But is it $30,000 cool? This is one of those watches that I appreciate and really like, but could I actually wear it? I think that's a different equation. I like the joke. I think it's playful, it's fun, it's brazen. It's not afraid to maybe you know make some people feel a certain type of way when looking at it. And I think at the end of the day, that's what watchmaking is all about. Expression and having some fun in the process and enjoying what you have on your wrist. But the one thing about this watch is, when you're talking about $30,000, it's one of these pieces that very similar to looking at a piece of art in a gallery or in a museum, you can appreciate it for what it is and you like that it exists. You like the expression for what it represents, but are you willing to pay the dollar amount to bring it home and have it on the wall in your apartment or in your house? That's a totally different equation. That's kind of how I feel about this watch. But even with that being the case, I'm always going to applaud when a brand can go out of their way and do something daring in this industry. And I think this watch represents that very idea so very well in kind of addressing the elephant in the room that is the Apple Watch when pretty much no other brand wants to even address its existence. But all right guys, that is my take looking at this Moser Swiss Alp. What is your thoughts on this one? Uh, this is one of those watches that it's it gets a conversation going every single time it shows up. It's polarizing, but it does get people talking. And when you can do that from a watch design perspective, I think that's uh, typically a good thing at the end of the day. I would love to see your take down below. If you enjoyed the coverage of this watch and this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. Also definitely check out teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.